perished. Who will go down in history? At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Gray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Manchester City versus Manchester United. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Mares. Now Gundogan. Well, they keep the ball moving. De Bruyne. And back with Gundogan. Now they stopped them in their tracks. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. Promising pass. Well, he's lost the ball. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea between the posts. Marcus Rashford starts with Anthony out wide. And Wout Weghorst is the striker. Oh, Derek, can he finish it here? Oh! Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. So they're playing again. It's Manchester United with the lead here. And the attacking options appear plentiful. Casemiro. Great opportunity. Must score. Can they cover up? And a goal! Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Well, far from the most accurate pass you're likely to see, throw in to come. Fred. Veghorst. Mares. Stones. The ball with Rodri. Gundogan. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? Gunduan. Ake. On to Holland. And a goal kick will be next.
Well, there it is. United haven't had as much of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Oh, opportunity here, Stuart. A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So on with the game again. United in charge. The scoreline threatening to get ugly. Holland, Riyad Mahrez, well he keeps going, De Bruyne, a goal, he's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Fred. Fred. Oh, breezing past him. Riyad Mahrez. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. And the referee's whistle, that will conclude the first half here at Wembley. So underway again here, the pendulum having already swung United's way. So let's see how the second 45 plays out. The horse. Now with Rashford, and maybe Rashford, and a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form! Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Riyad Mahrez. Oh, well, he's got past his man. De Bruyne. On to Mahrez. Gundogan. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Marcus Rashford. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? It's got to be! Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. 
And a time for composure on the ball. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. Anthony. Now with Weghorst. Anthony. Read it well. Ake. Here's Grealish. This might be ideal for the counter. Could reduce the deficit. Brilliantly blocked. Holland. It should be. Oh, and it goes. Another goal. And I'll tell you what, the impossible is becoming quite possible. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. And continuing with the game, City just one behind now. Shaw. Now with Weghorst. More than decent this from United. Weghorst. Spot on with that tackle. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Stones. Might be onto something with that ball. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Go kick. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Coming onto the pitch, number 20, Bernardo Silva. Well, with the minutes ticking away, United on the cusp of recording a victory in this one. Your assessment of their performance, Stuart? Well, going forward, they've been excellent, but they've also been too open at the back. They certainly haven't won this yet. De Bruyne. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. Now still pressing for a goal here. Grealish Ake on to Silva plenty of players waiting in the middle and he took care of it defensively as far as stoppage time is concerned three minutes here well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. Bruno Fernandes. Here is Fred. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. 
And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken.